Welcome back to Take 30 News. So Nikki, did you hear where game day was going to be next weekend? They're actually holding it what's probably going to be the biggest game of the season and could determine who's going to the SEC champion. But I'll tell you all more about that at Take 30 Sports. Welcome back to Take 30. I'm Nikki Ariana with all the news from World of Sports. The Alabama Crimson Tide took on rival LSU Tigers in Death Valley. It was a close game between the two teams until the fourth quarter when the Tigers were up 13 to 10. The Crimson Tide was able to make it into field goal position at the 27 yard line with three seconds left on the clock. Adam Griffith, the Alabama kicker, made the field goal sending the game into overtime. Alabama defeated the Tigers in overtime 20 to 13 for the fourth consecutive time. This weekend was Mississippi State's homecoming game against UT Martin. While the Bulldogs took on the Skyhawks, the announcement of the homecoming queen wasn't the only guest at Davis Wade Stadium. Former MSU quarterback Dylan Favre played for the Skyhawks against the Bulldogs. Favre is the nephew of former pro NFL star Brett Favre, who played with the Bulldogs in 2011. Oh, it was pretty fun. I wasn't actually here. I just heard kind of legendary stories, how he was Johnny Manziel before Johnny Manziel. But it was really fun. It was, it was interesting because he was talking to us and we were talking to him, so it was, it was fun. Favre only played for two quarters and lost to the Bulldogs 45-16. The Bulldogs are going to put their focus on taking the number four Alabama Crimson Tide, which could be a big factor in who will go to the SEC championship, taking on the number one team in the SEC East. This week's college game day is headed to Tuscaloosa as the Crimson Tide hosts the game with the number one team in the nation, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. The result of Saturday's game will have a major impact on both teams' rankings in the SEC West. College football polls and playoff standings. The Crimson Tide is 8-1 and, and the Bulldogs have an undefeated record of 9-0. Who will be the leading power team for the SEC West after this week? We'll find out this Saturday at 2.30 p.m. Number three ranked Auburn Tigers were taken down by the unranked Texas A&M Aggies, making it the biggest upset this week in college football. The Aggies' usual starting quarterback, Kenny Hill, was suspended for unknown reasons, allowing their second-string quarterback, Kyle Allen, to step up against the Tigers. Allen threw four touchdown passes for his first career start in the SEC. He made 19 completions out of 29 attempts for 277 yards. The final score was 41-38. The University of North Carolina is being sued for an academic scandal that granted student athletes eligibility to play sports by taking classes they never had in class meetings. Mike McAdoo lost his eligibility in 2011 when he was accused of plagiarism in his writing class that required students to only complete one paper for an overall class grade. He's suing the university for breaking its promise to provide an education while playing sports. McAdoo is one out of 31,000 student athletes who have called lawsuit against UNC and distribution of fake classes. Well, that's all for the World of Sports today. Coming up, Naya Sharp will be speaking with Martha Shoemaker on the education of relationships. 